This is our second match. This is the WCG winner Undead Legend and Revolutionizer TD versus Fortitude. And we got an Undead versus Human to our hands. Now I'm really, really curious. How serious is Ted taking this? I think it's one of these uh, instances where the streamer has to play the tournament to be able to stream the other matches, right? So Ted made it to the qualifier, even though it's Infi's THs and Fly's leak, and they are not the best friends necessarily. But Ted is in. And there we uh, go. Colorful is really not the most reliant uh, player to have as an observer, by the way. Thank you, Sai Saverde and Simoli for the subs. Ted random or you do. I stepped away from the PC, so I'm not 100% sure. He is on undead this time. What an exciting start, huh? Will Colorful be able to make it back or will he be kicked? I think everybody got his uh, mouse on the trigger. Yeah, prior to Ted, undead was not competitive at all. And then he invented the Ted Fiends. And the rest is history. Drop, drop, drop. Bye, Colorful. Have fun with the restream. So, TD here with a Ted Fiend build order as the name suggests. And Fortitude with an Archmage. Fortitude is the favorite, I'd say, right? But Fortitude is also very much hit or miss. Sometimes he has miraculous runs where everything seems to click. And sometimes he's not playing up to par. Greater healing pretty nice. Yeah, you can of course play Lich Ghouls here. You can play Crypt Lord here. But come on, it's Ted. Gotta please the fans. Harass is a little off, but 40 also. Going for this camp instead of the green into Expo is instant level 2. You can deal with the DK Harass now relatively well. And is that already a stop to Raz? Yeah, tech cute. We have, of course, four farms in the tower. This is nothing else but an expansion. And this is a late expansion. <laughs> is that the way to do it? Usually you want the expansion to be fast as possible. Because TD didn't spend a single coil yet. Fiends are coming in. This arrest is just getting more and more dangerous. And we're already at the 330 mark. And the creep didn't even start yet. I don't think this is good. Pig slaughtered. Ted knows how to do it at a restaurant before. And off we go. Lots of militia. How brutal is this slaughter gonna be? Coil can, of course, go for some last hits. Not going for the big one. Yeah, that one goes to 40, as well as the item. Pendant of energy. Nice. And so far, this is decent by 40. He gets most of the camp. He only lost one peasant. This is way better than expected. Big, big, big commitment, though. As we're already on the way to tier 2 for TD. Also, almost full mana. He only threw a single coil. It's uh, a little odd, a little passive. And so far, this is a swift game for the human. But yeah, maybe the bigger danger is to defend at tier 3 then. Because that's what this build is designed to do, right? Tech fast. And then the Destro push. But 
but he allows fortitude a lot. Like, if you don't stop this expansion, if you don't harass this expansion, and that uh, human tier three is powerful. But we don't have defend yet. Fiends are still very powerful. Fortitude trying to sneak around. There's a footman here. There's an archmage coming. Oh, this timing can be brutal. Ay, 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 the slaughterhouse. You really, really, really don't want to lose the slaughterhouse. You need the statue. Also, no resources for tier 3 tech at the moment. Due to the extra ziggurat. And you want to queue that slaughterhouse early? You want to have it early. For that, you delay the tech. But with stutter stepping and a new water elemental, that's it. Oh, slaughterhouse cancel. Fortitude with a very solid game. In the meantime, DK and Fiends are slaughtering some peasants. Favorite sound. Ugh. Not even? Ah, there we go. At least one. But yeah, major wins for Fortitude. Tech has started... This is incredible. Tech has started at the 6 minute 30 mark. Because he doesn't have to replace anything. Doesn't have to build a myriad of footmen. Doesn't have to rebuild 20 peasants. Or towers. Thank you, Jay Celerax, for the sub. Less than three, less than three, less than three. This is the first time... Where Ted is really getting some kills done. You can also see it reflected in the levels. 2, 3, 1, 6. Not too great. Five fiends as well. I mean, he has to do something. Because he's waiting for... Oh, he's supply block. Ted! There we go. Yeah, you don't want to go more fiends. You have to stock it up with... Statues now, maybe queue some upgrades, maybe queue some items. Threatens us around here, not bad at all. And that's the effect of the delayed slaughterhouse. The fiends are hurt because there's no regen from the statues. The heroes are low mana because there's no regen from the statues. Oh oh. Not a great game for Ted to be honest. I had a fun game recently after Ted Cup when he was playing random against 1 to 0 and beat him. But today the boss, uh, not, not ready yet. Tier 3 queued, Mountain King queued, Fortitude is stabilizing. And not having level 3 hurts. At least we got statues. And maybe that tier 3 push with a pit lord, maybe? I guess Ted is more of a dark ranger player. But this might be his only chance. So he mask is very nice. But yeah, two fiends lost. And the slaughterhouse delayed. This matchup can spiral out of control real quick if the undead is not up to par, if the undead is not playing perfect. If you give the human time for the tier 3, for the knights, for the gyros, for the tri-hero, for experience. Human needs a lot, but once it's online, it's very powerful. So, what's the third hero? He doesn't even have supply for third hero and a destroyer. He has one fiend too much. Narcotics, thank you for the 22 month three sub. Wait, he didn't pick up the mask? Wait a second, there's a subby mask on the ground? Ah, Ted! Oh, 40. Forces the town portal. At a moment where you want to get the third hero. 
That's one acolyte down. Okay, that's not the worst. Pick up the mask, brother! You gotta pick it up. You gotta pick it up. Okay, little oversight. Knight's coming, Gyro's coming. More and more and more supply. Because we got a lot of gold. Fortitude is filthy rich. Still plays a dual hero. Dual hero Destro Bust. Off into the towers. Uh, flag cannon? Not done yet. These gyros are not super powerful. Full mana on the heroes. Almost no anti-air. This can maybe work. If it works, it's once again... Uh, a reason for the human to complain. Rightfully so. Interesting that he goes for the blacksmith. Where's the flag cannons? Mountain King still under level. The majority of this army is still footmen. They will be taken out. That timing works out a lot better than expected. Even without a pit lord, even without a dark ranger. And the floodgates are open soon if the towers are gone. Oh man, what an oversight to not build enough gyros to not go for flag cannons. This game was so good. Up until it wasn't. Statue for free, nicely done. But how do you deal with the Trihero human if there's no silence? And how do you deal with the Gyros if there's no Pit Lord? With kiting, I guess. Yeah, needs excellence kiting though. Imagine this fight with flag cannons! I cannot believe he didn't go for the upgrade. Knights on the ground slaughtering though. Can he get reinforcements in? Can he get enough gyros in to deal with the Destros? That should be... Yeah, the game win then. 20 supply down. And the Mountain King levels and another Fiend done. And the Expo is still standing. Couple of losses here and there. Couple of workers, two towers. But yeah, that's done. Wave, thank you for the 29 month resub. That's game. Hippo saying looking good for Ted, I think. Well, well, not anymore. Heroes are getting 3 3. We're still a dual hero. This won't change, right? We won't see a Dark Ranger at all. Forty has uh, mismanaged his resources a little bit. Guys, are you kidding me? Are you really blaming this on balance? This is so idiotic. Don't even want to comment on that. But I just have to point out how stupid that is. Pit Lord third. All right. Does he even need that? Yeah, it's Howl. <laughs> there is no dispel, so uh, fiends might survive a little bit longer. And then the Destros can eat it, but there aren't even any Destros. Also, no Banshee transition. This game is totally in the books. 30 supply less, a little bit of focus fire, but it's really, really a little tiny bit of focus fire. Forty got the levels. Forty got the economy. Forty got the supply. And 
before they got the game. Also, a thousand bank. And that is game indeed. Fortitude takes map number one. Pretty convincingly. With a delayed expo. With a safe expo. But Ted made some mistakes here. He left the... First expansion harass. With almost full mana. You're supposed to dash through all of it. Kill as many peasants as possible. And then play the game from there. Complaining about balance is fun. Wow, you must have a sad life, dude. Slaughterhouse laws. Yeah, this game was just uh, fortitude all over. Ted, not playing up to standards of undead standards these days. Fortitude playing solid, fortitude finding a good timing. And that's the 1-0. Ted, by the way, on Undead. Is that an Elden Ring shirt? It, this shirt is my new favorite. It's called Elder Emo in the font of Elden Ring. And it has the Coheed and Cambria logo on it. I love that shirt. <laughs> all right let's go map number two ted trying to fight back otherwise he's facing focus in the lower bracket we are on tight hunters now so i wonder as always on tight hunters what the build's gonna be and what the heroes are gonna be This shirt, less than three. I imported it from the UK, which was quite expensive. But you know, all the big streamer money. Easy, easily doable. Come on, Ted, surprise me. Come up with some cheeky builds. Archmage it is. Lich first. Yes, let's go. Okay, Lich first and Ghouls, a total switch up by TD. He is of course well aware of what the meta is, since he's streaming basically every single competition himself. Yo Shorty, what's up? I saw you signed up for War 3 Champions moderation. That is amazing. They need helpers. What did he sell? Huh? Wasn't there like a building cell animation thingy? Expansion it is. Forty goes for the new norm, which is lab first. Also a little bit of his uh, shtick, right? Creeping early, build a powerful Archmage, then go for the Expo. Timing-wise, this could be bad. Because the Lich is supposed to be a lot more damage than a DK did before. So how fast do you get level 2? Fortitude scouted this. And Ted is missing some lumber. Wow, lab into turtles. Items are good. <laughs> and Ted is expecting an expansion already, but it didn't even start yet. Didn't even call the boys yet. 
So as there's no opening, he gotta respond to his opponent. That still has the option to sell all this. And just tech. Just as 40 is doing. 40 goes one base tier 2. And I like it. Because the Lich will just slaughter everything and everybody. So how stubborn is Ted? Okay. He go oh! Look at these around. That's expensive. Yeah, we're living in the upside down times sometimes. Here on Tidehunters especially. Undead expansion versus fast human tier 2. This overlay drives me so nuts. Okay, Archmage gotta be careful. Can't afford to be surrounded again. For that he has boots. And level 2 water elementals. Ted is in position. Got the tower up. So is it enough? Can he just brute force? He can't eject with the town portal. Ah, got it. Sorry for the zoom. It's a cancel, isn't it? We The water elementals will slaughter a lot of ghouls and the footmen are killing this expansion. Ted, this is not working! My streamer brother is going down! No! He got the cancel. He's killing a bunch of footmen. He got level 3. Okay, so that's fine. But you're going into rifles anyway. Disposable footmen. <laughs> nice four units around. Unfortunately, this water elemental expires. Oh, we're almost even supply. That's not how it's supposed to be. Boop. Clear lack of the nice as well. Compared to like high level undeads. Oh, and this is gonna be a... What is it? Seven minute expansion? 6.30? Archmage. Oh no, cancel again! We also got. Oh wait! Level 1 Nova, level 2 Dark Ritual. Interesting to see that. Lots more mana, of course, but weaker, weaker Nova. Will this expire once more? Oh, Ted is so unlucky. Yeah. Okay, MK into rifles, into casters. The expo is not up. This is just one <laughs> tech uh, or, or tier one, one base undead. No bueno. Quantity over quality. Exactly. Not too sure if that's the right call, to be honest. Maybe it was situational. Okay, we're slowly going towards level 4. A player's forces are under attack. <laughs> Got an ivory tower? The hell? Okay, not using it yet. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, Expo is finally, finally up. We got double racks. But Mountain King, if he goes clap, he's just destroying. Just destroying these ghouls, as there is no other chance for Ted to go anything else but ghouls. Ivory to leave the surround 200 IQ. Okay, that might be it. That might actually be it. Damn, Hippo, you're so smart. Okay, are we gonna? He's going bash. 
Why would you ever go bash in this situation? Oh, or you just use it for a tower. That's also a reason to go for an ivory tower. If you want a tower. Alright, have fun with these water elementals. Ted is trying his best to flood the backline and to reduce the number of human units. Scroll of the beast. Uh, actually, uh, oh yeah, he did hit the water elementals. Level 4 for level 2 aura. This is unwinnable. Even with the Narub tower, I would never ever underestimate the f power of, an, of a Narub. Oh, imagine this with clap, dude. Doesn't even need it though. Doesn't even need it. All the ghouls hurt. All the ghouls dead. Lich not level 4. Mountain King is leveling like effing crazy. And Fortitude 2 O's. TED here. Oh, burn! GG! 40 takes it. Relatively easy, I want to say. Cancel, 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 cancel. And then Ted a little too stubborn as well. To not tech, but brute force this expo. Always good to see Ted, but that wasn't uh, wasn't too great. So we get our winner bracket final. That is Fortitude versus 120. These guys are oftentimes fun. Because 40 uh, can go for some tanks, you know? But we'll see if this is the case. We're gonna do map picks and bans and then off to game three. We'll be right back here at Back to Warcraft with TP League August Group D.